Welcome back. We are about to start off the second match of the night. Game number two, Team Aware versus oh, Aware match Gaming versus Team Yeah, it's team Aware Eager. Gaming versus Team Eager. And just a quick wrap up, if you're just joining us, we just watched Onslaught pretty swiftly beat XGN out. Twice. Yeah, we did see them beat them twice. And it was just, it was pretty simple uh, each time. Just really good team fighting. Yep. Pretty decent team comps. And just they let they let everything snowball. It just slowly went into their favor. But now we're gonna dive right into the picks and bans for this second match of the night. And it looks like the picks have already started to come in. The ban yep. is going the first ban of the night is going to be hell. Hell yeah, aware is gonna ban hell. And then Wukong on the uh, other team. Pretty standard bans. We've seen both of them banned throughout the night already. Yeah. And I think that's gonna stay for pretty much the whole season. Both teams have been pretty eager to ban. Wukong, but oh, if you Team don't Eager stop. especially. especially. Jonas, wow, they're, they're just really, that's some mid lane hate right now. They're just banning everyone that we know they're going to ban. I mean, what's next? Ready? You know what's going to be next? What do you think? Yes. I got to think about this one. Oh, yeah. You're so cocky. It's going to so be, cocky. it's going to be. Medusa. Hunbots. Medusa. Hunbots. Medusa. There's no reason to ban Hunbots. You know, but here it comes. Medusa's gonna get banned right here. Oh, yeah. oh, oh we enough. didn't even expect that one. Good enough, though. Yep. They're, they're just trying to shut out the Wombo combo. I mean, Medusa is still scary. Medusa is still an incredibly good ADC on Xbox, but mm -hmm. when you don't have that Athena, you don't have that guaranteed petrification damage. And the, the ADC is gonna come in and it's gonna be Shibalanka for. We saw Lair. Shibalanka just melt faces in the last game. Just always a good pick. Yeah, Team Eager. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping Air Cougar kind of relaxes, doesn't doesn't like rush uh, to try to get Medusa or anything. He's okay with Medusa, but seeing him on on her, is, he's he shines on on her. In really? my opinion, yeah, he's just he's a good on her, and on her is not gonna get banned. <laughs> it's not we know it's not gonna get picked at this point, so that's probably gonna be one of the last picks for him. Okay, so we're gonna see Hades. So Hades was actually played, I'm pretty sure, by Dwurst. Nola as a mid. So I'm going to assume he's mid. Both very tanky gods right there. Both very uh, very in your face. Hades is going to jump in there, grab people up. Sobek's going to jump in there as well, flip people back. We haven't seen the Sobek yet tonight. We get to see the Sobek shuffle, man. The Sobek shuffle. It's coming in. We, we were looking for that dance move. Oh, and in the pirate skin, he is going to look so fly while he dances around the map like an absolute lunatic. But he's also just an insanely powerful god. Yeah. Insanely powerful. So the next pick is going to be Thor. Yeah, speaking of very powerful. Extremely powerful, but we also, like, we see so many people miss that dunk. Oh, yeah, we were Geb. talking about this before on the Xbox. It's hard to hit that ultimate. I'm surprised we haven't seen Geb earlier tonight, too. I don't like Geb. Geb in support, man. <laughs> so good. Ravana. I guess I hope uh, Team Aware, Aware Gaming, excuse me, can show me okay. what Geb is all about. Oops, misclick. Not going to lock in on that. Going to lock in on the Kepri. <laughs> oh, he's well, not, no, he no, hasn't no. in yet. They have Geb. No, 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 no. They, he switched uh, really quick. He went to Ravana. He Ooh. switched out. Ooh. Team Eager. I'm excited to see Kepri. Kepri, Sobek, Hades. It's pretty strong. Oh. Go on you. Go on you. Really? They're changing things up, man. Yeah, that's the third god we've seen in that slot and still no lock. What do you... Yeah, okay, they're going to lock in on the Guan Yu. Guan Yu is Guan Yu. No, not very eager to Guan pick Yu. any one god. Guan Yu making it rain right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Super Saiyan overhead smash right now. It Whoa. looks more like Wukong. Which than... is your favorite skin right there? Just the blue one and the red one? I don't think he can decide. Someone needs to tell this player to just absolutely stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is absolute carnage. He's bringing down the hammer nonstop. And I bet this is going to keep going until we get into the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, the first band's going to go in, and it's going to be Sung Wukong because for some reason, Guan Yu stole his cudgel and is poking over and over again with the overhead smash. Also going to ban Poseidon, and then we get a on her ban. Oh, the on her ban did come in. Yeah, I mean, that on her ban is just, that is straight respect for Cougs. It's just yeah. straight respect for Eric Cougar. It, it's, it's a really good ADC for him. Respect ban. I mean, he's going to come in with Neath, and he's perfectly fine with Neath. Yeah, Neath is a good knee-jerk reaction to that Guan Yu stopped for a little bit, and then we stopped talking about him, and he started doing it again. He wants our attention. He wants the attention. Yeah. I see you. I see you. We get it, man. You don't You're need there. to try so hard. <laughs> Ooh, getting Isis. Isis. I, I really like Isis. Yeah, we did see Isis get banned 
uh, last matchup. Which is really sad because I enjoy playing Isis and watching her play. It's one Ooh, you gotta settle down. Changa, this is my favorite team right here. This is all my favorites except for Geb. No one cares about Geb. It's a strong comp too. I mean, yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah, who do you think is going to sit mid? Isis. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and the, yeah. the Changa, maybe. Uh, oh, Juan, you sit down. <laughs> Juan, you just sit down. He's so excited, man. He's ready to go. It's like, yo, yo, the game start yet? The game start? <laughs> can, can, can we start? Who do you think their last pick might be? Let's see here. We have a hunter. We got a good warrior. A mid. We need a good. Hmm. Oh, that Neath Eager skin. I really don't know who's next. Yeah, I'm curious too. A Bastet. Okay. All right, Bastet. This this gives them uh gives them a lot of potential for split pushing here. Definitely. It's a very tanky team too. Yeah, just kind of looking right now, trying to think of this matchup. That that is a tanky team. Yep. But you do have the Gav most likely as support. I hope so. And then Thor in the jungle. Who's going to take the solo lane? Isis? Yo, what if Chunga goes yep. into the jungle? Do you think Chunga fares better? I, I mean, they're definitely going with one of those magical mages in the, the solo lane. Yeah. They have to, right? Which we've already seen tonight. We've been seeing a little bit of a uh, little bit of magic damage in solo lane because we we've seen uh, we saw Hades actually too in the solo lane. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and that was just a brutal fight because no one died. It was Hercules versus Hades, and everyone was just staying alive. All right, so this Bastet for D worst could be good. I actually, I, I'm really, I'm excited to see the Bastet. You can just pull off some crazy shenanigans with that god. Like you were saying before, the Bastet got the Titan kill on that one game. You can just, you can just do whatever you want by yourself because you just make other things. Yeah. Like it's, it's really strong. If you could be any god in the game of Smite, which one would you pick? In real life. In real life. I could be any god. Like I kind of want to pick a dude, but like. I'm just saying. Like having they all a cat look weird. by your no, side. They all look so weird. What do you mean? Like, I don't want to be a lion. Like, I don't want to You don't want to be a lion. No, I like being a person. You don't want to have, like, the pride like, of your just, pack, man? You, all right. Also, I heard you. I heard you as you tried to change the subject. What's you, that? You want to be Chunga, don't you? No, 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 you no. You can no, be no. Chunga for Halloween, man. I want to be Chunga's rabbit. Why are you being for Halloween? You, wait, you want to be... You don't even want to be a god. You want to be a rabbit. Yeah, man, because she'll take care of me, and she'll respect me, you and know she'll that, send you me know on little right magical now, journeys. What's that? People are watching this, and, and it's getting recorded. You know what? And you just said that you want to be a rabbit that gets sent out on your... You want to be Chunga's pet. You don't even want to be Chunga. Yeah. Uh, I, right. I see nothing wrong with that. All right. Yeah, I guess there is nothing wrong with that. It's, you could be a bunny if you want, Ethan. <laughs> Look, he gets a little fedora, too. Okay, maybe I might take it back. The fedora's a little much, man. The fedora is a little much. <laughs> you want to be a rabbit as long as no one makes you wear a fedora. Absolutely, yeah. The but being, way too being much. a rabbit, you pretty much relinquish that power. Why is that? The power to not wear fedoras. The rabbit talks, though. I'm you don't even, sure it's you a don't talking even have rabbit. Th doesn't have thumbs, though. I bet you anything that rabbit doesn't have thumbs. Yeah, but I can jump really fedora? high. Have you seen how fast a rabbit can run? Pretty fast, man. All right, so Ethan wants to be the quickest bunny in the Smite universe. And you haven't picked one yet. I, I haven't picked what? Pick carefully. The god that you want to be. Thor. You know why? Because you're lame. You're boring. Everyone wants to be Thor. No, because Nally Portman, dude. Yo, that's a different franchise, man. That's a whole other franchise. Dude, gods aren't franchises. They're gods. Uh, pantheons are pretty much franchises. <laughs> pantheons are franchises. Yep. That's correct. Guan Yu finally sitting down in place. I would not want to be Guan Yu. That dude always seems so angry. I think he's chafing from his horse. <laughs> he's just He's got Calvary, <laughs> Calvary aggro. I mean, maybe hit up Hebo or Hubbo for some... That'd aid be, down there, you know? Pretty... <laughs> yeah, yeah he, that guy does not chafe. No, he does not. Keep... I mean, he rides on water. How can you chafe in water? Keeps it, keeps it fresh and clean. <laughs> All right, the game is about to start. Sorry you're not a bunny rabbit, Ethan. One day, when science evolves enough. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. What, how do you think, though, about these two comps match up? One team is squishy and one team is tanky. That's how I think. So I mean, far. so I'm, I'm assuming you think that Aware Gaming is definitely the squishier team. Yeah. They're, they're a lot fleshier, as you like to say. Very fleshy. They, 
They're not quite glass cannons, though. And you do have that Geb in the support role. He gets to throw up that shield, which gives you an, enough time to actually reap the benefits of being one of those those glassier yep. gods. So, I mean, they might be able to push down some serious damage against Team Eager. They'll definitely rely, the, the Chunga, Cruxy, and Yubs there, they'll rely on Thor and uh, Geb to get in there and initiate fights, because they can't. They'll just die if they run in there. Yeah, we are going to see Thor pick up this early... It, that, that's the sentry. So, yeah, yeah, he's going to actually try to invade right now, I think. And try to get all the way into the enemy camp and just lay down a ward and get some good vision right off the bat, which might seem we'll see a team fight for, from him. Yep, yep. Uh, he's heading right in there, kind of by himself. Yeah, I think he's going to try to lay down the ward and get out. As quick as possible, yep. yeah. But I think Guan Yu might have read it. You think so? Yeah, go to Guan Yu and Thor. That is a great scene Go to right Guan Yu and Thor. There he is, yep. Guan Yu knew right away to get right there. Yeah, we're going to see right there, we're going to see both wards go down. We, I actually think uh, Eager, though, has managed to get more vision on the map currently. Unless I miss someone else put a ward down. I think we actually have the most vision on the map right now. We, we actually are winning the vision game. Yes, we are. <laughs> so right now, we're not going to see an early first blood, but we are going to see the runes go down in the place that they probably should be. Yep, they're definitely putting them there for uh, invades. That's a position that you want if you're afraid of people jumping into lane trying to gank you. Yeah, you don't want you, you want to watch out for that Thor. You want to watch out for you just like you gotta watch out for the jungler. And speaking of the jungle, we are gonna see Thor, and we are gonna see Guan Yu in the jungle. Guan Yu. What if, I can't think of the last time I saw a Guan Yu jungle. Yeah, he was jumping to Joy for Joy. He was like, yeah, I get to go in the jungle finally. That's what, what was happening. Is that what was happening? Yeah. yeah. It was his time to shine. I get to ride my horse through the jungle, Guan Yu said. And he <laughs> rode his horse off into the night. All right, so we're going to see some uh, action going on in the camps right now. Nothing too, too out of the blue. They're going to grab that random. XP camp. Nice. Yeah, and right now we're actually seeing the speed camp uh, go down really quickly. Four, we we're gaming. Who's gonna pick it up? Shibalanke? No way. That'd be absolutely insane. Oh. Yeah, Shibalanke, that, that's the attack speed camp. Oh, I was okay. Talking about the speed camp, oh, too. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong screen. My apologies. But yeah, no, so we, we see pretty basic. Each team managed to pick up their purple, yellow, and blue. Mm -hmm. so no one no one actually like out won the jungle. Not at all. But yeah, we saw the mid jungles, the two mid camps go down. I actually just better play from both of these teams as far as the jungles go. Already we have the two junglers in the middle of the lane helping out their their uh, mage there. Yeah, pretty standard read. I mean, you had the vision, no one wanted to get the gank out, and it's not worth like risking going over to the, the single lane right yeah, now. Yep. So I think we, we actually might see uh, both teams try to get into the duo lane, and maybe in, whoever gets there first might get to initiate something. Or we're just going to see a, a simple damage camp get taken right here. Oh. Yeah. Already, Shibalanka is down. Geb is also very low health. Neath is one bar left. Sobek could potentially get the kill, but Thor comes in with the save there. Geb still, you know, charging yeah. through. Well, see, that this is the power of Geb. He's strong in the early game, and he just becomes this absolute... He's just a giant boulder that can body block for you. Yeah. Gives so much potential. Yeah, so Shibalanka about to come back in. All by himself, though. He has to be careful. No, I th this Thor is probably going to hang out around here. But I still don't think this is a good gank situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thor's going to move over to the camp and take that really quick. In the mid lane right now, though, we do have a 2v1 situation. Curious to see. Yeah, they're not they're not too eager to initiate. They're not at all. Eager. Here we go. A little bit of action going down right now. Fast set throwing out her cats. Oh, and Chunga drops there. Wow, right under her turret. Fast Sorry. tech gets the kill. Sorry. With that little bunny's, whip. Bunny's dead. You know, the bunny never dies. He just runs away. That's why you want to be the bunny. Yeah. The undying bunny. Undying bunny. Actually, I don't so know if that's true. Chunga dies, the bunny lives on forever. Do you think Bastet, a god of cats, would kill a bunny? Oh, of course she would. The yeah. god of cat. Yeah. Typical. Of course. Yeah, actually, both these teams just look so good right now. Yeah. She Blanca just farming up. He's good. Yeah, let's, let's actually pull up the graphs. Let's see if anyone's actually pulling away right now. Interesting. It's pretty much neck and neck, but we are just seeing a more efficient farm from Team Eager. Mm -hmm. They did also manage to get that first kill. First Blood is going to give them a little bit of a, a gold advantage and, of course, an XP advantage. I'm going to head over to mid where there seems to be a fight going on. Thor really pushing in some damage here. Guan Yu trying to stay in position, but 
They were just getting zoned out right there. That is just, is, that's a good harass. Ice is flapping her wings, getting damage out of there. Yeah, Ice has just really managed to harass there. That was just that was impressive. Yep. Yeah, looking though over at the duo lane. Nothing too, nothing too sketchy. They're, they're just going to stay behind minions. Neat's going to move back. Neath is all by herself right now, actually, and it looks like there's a fight going on in mid. Hades going out with the ultimate. Thor is going oh, up. Can he Thor's make it? Dunk. Yeah, he's not going to die. He's just going to disengage off this dunk. He's yeah, out of he, there. He needs to run away right now. Wow, that was very close that to Thor. That is three kills for Team Eager. Team Eager is an, an incredibly strong team, but by no means writing off where gaming right now. Thor decides it's safe enough for him to take this XP camp before he does go back to base. Geb's, Geb's not going to... Gibbs not going to play with luck, though. He's going to yeah, throw up that shield yeah. just in case. Man is not that important. Uh, potential Jagaz, gank Jagaz going on here. Very dangerous situation here. There's Bastet trying to initiate. We do see Guan Yu and Sobek creeping up behind. No, they they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. I mean, I think they were looking and they just saw Shanga got back in place quick enough. Yep. They right now could open up on Geb, though, but I think they're going to go for this big XP camp. What is Bastet doing? She's chilling out in She's the She's got to wait for the speed buff. Oh. Ooh, waiting for Thor and uh, yeah. Isis. That was an interesting play there. Thor getting very low, but that stun did help him. Ooh, Sobek yeah, coming Thor's in. Thor's not in a great position. Sobek popping his ulti right now. He's going to come up. Oh, and the jaws slam close on <laughs> Thor's life. Bye, Thor. Hope you enjoyed that little swim he had there. Hope you enjoyed the Nile. Chibalanka getting that ulti off, but no one gets stunned. Sobek still very high health. and uh, Geb's going to go down, though. Wow, Geb. Such a tank, too, and Bastet's just going to manage to claw through. Isis flipped into the battle and gets instantly killed. Oh, this game is massively just shifted. 6-0 already. Eager. Five minutes in, and they pick up the speed camp. I think that was just something that they, they really had to do with their team, though. They wanted to make sure they, they farmed a safe game in the jungle. But when you're messing around with such tanky characters, just... Wow. What are you thinking right now? That was an impressive play right there. Bastet came out by herself, was able to lure Thor and Isis into a fight, and then they just got slaughtered. Yeah, the worst is always just a standout player too, yep. and of course he's playing Bastet right now. D, D worst is he's one of the fan favorites, man. People love him. Thor and Geb trying to make something happen here, getting uh, Neath very low. Thor is going up, in fact, and Geb right there with him. They get the stun off, and Neath is so low. She's Air running. Cougar's close though. Oh, and Shiba Wonka. Cougar almost managed to get away there. Yeah, that's nice that Shiba did get that kill. I was surprised that I guess Geb's uh, roll wasn't up. Thought he was going to do a little roll into her. Sobek is just coming in here trying to do some damage. Oh, and Guan Yu on his horse, that little chafe thing going on, and he almost gets Geb. Can he do it? Yes, he gets the kill on Geb right under the turret. So they that managed to turn that situation into a trade, which is definitely very good for them. Yeah. They're going to be looking to pick up some objectives soon. It looks like they might move to mid and try to pick off someone right now. Isis is... Having a little fun over here, dancing around, yeah, waiting for the team. Just dancing around at the crossroads. Could we potentially see a uh, Gold Fury here? I don't think so. They've been managing to get both of these XP camps as of late, both of the mid ones, which are definitely worth a sizable amount of experience. And as you can see, they're almost 5k experience ahead at this point in the game. Yep. 3k gold, only six minutes Ooh. on the clock. Ice is stuck in a hard place, trying to flap her wings out of there. And there, Ice goes down. Hades opens up right now. This could be absolutely brutal for the blue team. Not looking good, yeah. Oh, Bastet very low down in uh, the solo lane, but ultimately nothing going to happen from that. Yeah, Dworce is going to manage to recall here, but there's still some action going on in the mid. Thor's looking at it. That was a very nice poke by him. Man, just to go in, spin to win. Oh, if he can manage to dunk right no. now, I go think on he, you. that was a little bit of an overcommit. Yeah, he definitely. He had his dunk, but still, the thing with Thor is you want to dunk when someone's trying to disengage. They're going to get one more kill wow, for the Chaos team. Lanka. It was interesting because he jumped in there to do his spin and then automatically Hades silenced him so there was no damage coming out from Thor. He was just stuck there with nothing. Yeah. And just like looking at the KDAs right now, it's starting to spiral. Guan Yu is real good. Yeah. Gu Guan Yu might be, my, might be my MVP right now. You didn't like him. You said you didn't like him before. Why, why didn't you like him? Oh, as a god? Yeah. I, just, just a little vanilla for me. We're going up, trying to make something happen here. Where'd yeah, he go? Who's he trying to initiate on? Oh, that was a good read by him. We didn't even see that right off the bat, but he's going to try to open up on Air Cougar, and Neath is going to try to run away. She does definitely have some tools in her kit right now to get away. She's going to manage to sneak away behind that creep wave. Geb blanking in there for... 
like, yeah, no if, reason. If get, now, if Get managed to blink in right there and maybe pull off some sort of stun, he thought maybe he'd get Air Cougar down, but I think he saw Sobek and just decided it was best for him to leave. So he's actually going to use his role right now to disengage instead of putting on any pressure. And this pressure is really taking them out of the jungle, and they're able to pick up this uh, speed camp here. Yeah, D-Worst sees an opening and decides to counter jungle, but the order team is not completely giving up yet. Aware is still going to try to poke at them just a little bit, but it, it's too late. They already got your attack speed buff. It's over with for them. For this initiation. Yeah, this initiation. We, right now, we don't see Bastet. Bastet is trying to recall, and they're trying to poke at her. It might be a Perhaps a kill. kill here. She gets stunned by Shibalanke. She does get the catch. She tries to dive back in and do as much damage as possible. Whoa, she jumping all over One the more place. Jump. She might be able to get away here. And, and she Sobek does. is going to manage to throw Isis back. Or no, he doesn't even need to. He's just not going to overcommit here. Guan Yu's going to come in. The cavalry comes charging through. Sobek also dropping it down. He goes under the river. Bye, We're going to see another kill. Hades getting in just in the nick of the time. This is absolutely phenomenal teamwork. Two kills right there. Geb and Isis going down. We've seen Geb die quite a lot. Yeah, in we, this game. We also see... 3 Neath has a lot of golden hand. Hades has a lot of golden hand. Neath just spent something. Let's look at the builds right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Neath is starting to get pretty strong. No actives yet. That's interesting. Chang is able to get that turret down. Why do you think Neath doesn't have beads or anything? She's got that leap backwards. Yeah, Maybe she leap. thinks she can handle it on her own. Yeah, I'm not... I think Cougar, too. He's a... Eric Googs is just, he's, he's a very strong player. He has really good reads. I think he knows when to use that jump. Because mm -hmm. you don't see him use it as often as other needs do. And I think that kind of just comes down to the fact that he's reading stuff better. He doesn't feel like he needs to do it at the yeah, time. I mean, and he has it on, like, open more. Do you think beads is a massive crutch for people who don't know what to look for? No, I think beads is super important. I don't think picking up beads is necessarily a bad thing. But... The tier three beads is just so much better than the tier one beads yep. too. Just because you have this mentality where you don't want to pop it because you need it to be up. And you'll see people die and have never popped their beads. And it's not until tier three where that mental break kind of ends. Mm -hmm. And like people will pop, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm stunned. I'll, I'll pop it right now and make sure I live. So they're afraid they might need it for a better opportunity, but yeah. then they just don't pop it at all and they're yeah. dead. You see that? That's a common mistake. Yeah. The beads, definitely not an easy item to use, but definitely an item you need to learn how to use. I mean, I'm not opposed to a grown man wearing beads. Yeah, you want to be a bunny, Ethan. Yeah. Like, I, I would be surprised if, if you drew the line at beads. <laughs> I mean, if Thor's going to wear beads, I might as well wear beads. Thor does wear beads. Yep, he's wearing them right now. Oh, yeah, he is. I, I was, like, looking at the character model. I was like, wait, Thor has beads around his neck? <laughs> he does not. Ooh. Oh, we're going to see a team fight right here. Great it's ulti. Absolute destruction here. Thor's going to come in. Clean get up this map. Every stun off, but still, he's so low. He's trying to hug that turret, and he gets killed by Bastet oh, right there. They, are they even going to try to take the turret? I'm surprised Bastet doesn't try to bring out the kitties and bring it down. There are just too many minions. Oh, they're just going to get the kill and yeah, run away. Take, take the mana camp right now. I think they're going to go back for a tower. There's no reason not to. The, the respawn times aren't terribly long right now, I guess. So, Not really, no. Yeah, so... Not as secure as it would be. Neath, Neath is going to push in here. I so kill. low and yeah. boom, dead. That's just great vision by Cougar there. Yeah. That that's just kind of shows. They called out, hey, Isis is low. He knew he could get in there, and he did it before she managed to back. And now he's going to secure this attack speed camp yet again. Air Cougar's like, I don't need to be in a team fight to get a kill. He's just clean one it right of my up. favorite ADCs to watch. Really? Very, very competent ADC. Chibalanka I trying to... Do something here. I also like the fact that he plays on her. That is part of it. Oh, really? Just yeah. the on her thing? I, I really do like watching on her play. How come? Just an interesting god. It's all really about that Q, god. that that one, man. Get that out there. Yeah. I mean, you got great leap, but one of my favorite folks in the game, and also just like that ult. Oh, that ulti, yes. It's just like, all right, I'm an ADC. All I do is auto attack, and they hit really hard. Why don't I just do that a bunch? It's just a very vanilla but perfect <laughs> auto attack. He, he is a very vanilla god. I mean, he has everything he needs. A slow, like a wall of sorts. He is the best, like one of the best smite toolkits, yeah. in my opinion. It, it's just, it has everything. It has yep. a, a really good way to engage, which is also a very good way to disengage. It has it has the wall, so you can actually like get these cheesy little body blocks down if you're good enough. Yep. And then on top of that, even if you don't hit the wall perfectly, even if you don't position it super well, AoE slow. I mean, he is just an all-around great And then he's going to poke you, and then he's going to just... It, it's absolute 
Carnage. And I really think the reason they banned it was because they know how good Cougar is. Moving into the mid lane, though, we might see a little bit of a fight here. We're going to see Isis just kind of farm that wave right now. Isis is good at farming waves, even from behind. That, that is an advantage they have. Oh, we're going to see our first objective. Going deck. for the Gulf Fury yeah. here, yeah. Could it possibly be a tease? It looks like it, actually. They look like they're trying to force a team fight here. Yeah, I think it was a little bit of a just like, hey, you can't let us do this right now. Yeah, Thor. We saw it last match. Thor blows his ulti, Shibalanka blows I think while ulti. they're here, though, they might as well try to take it. They're just all over the place right now. Nothing. Yeah, I, no, I think the reason they're doing that is they're seeing they kind of push people out of position. Oh, yeah. Because they, they ran out to try to defend here. We are going to see Cougar move in. Start to weaken it a little bit. Wan Yu's going to move in to support him, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see them manage to pick off a kill here. Yeah, Sobek's going to run down the line, make sure no one gets in, just try to push them off, pushing off Geb, pushing off Thor, and by himself, he manages to just make Geb. Wow, perfect play there from Geb. He was just able to block everyone from going in there, and that's exactly what they needed. Yeah, Sobek, that was a big play from Sobek. Oh, yeah, Sobek, yeah. my bad. And we are going to see... Oh, wow. I missed Hades ulti right there. We're going to see a missed Hades ulti. I, I was looking forward to that. Yep. Oh, Ice is going to fall. Yeah, this Sobek explains super well. Jelly is... Jelly has made a bunch of gods, like, viable on Xbox. Like, we've just seen Jelly play some really interesting things. I think I'm trying to remember some of the gods that Jelly's played. It's just been like, oh, wait. This is good. And people will just kind of switch over. <laughs> Is he, like, forcing the meta into different directions? I, I wouldn't say he's necessarily forcing it. He's just, like, like people are seeing it. Like, oh, that, that's good. It's not like he's, like, bullying anyone into yeah. doing something by being so good with it. Ooh. Oh, wow, he's going to knock that right out of the tower and move it into his team. He might be able to get a here, kill here, but Thor is going to spin to win. Oh, wow, we are going to see some people get low, but it just might not be enough to get the kill off. Thor going up, probably going to get that Sobek, He's going to try to get the Sobek. Sobek did use his ulti here to try to get away, but Thor might go down wow. to Sobek. He was so low when he came down. Absolute payback, and Sobek is still hungry for more. That was a fantastic yeah, Sobek. counterplay. Sobek, Sobek needs Sobek to make right sure there. he doesn't get hit by the tower. He's going to stay on the creeps for a little bit, but this tier one might go down right here. That's the Wow, wait. That's their tier That's two. That's tier two. Yeah, 15 minutes in. And again, Guan Yu getting another kill. Isis down, that 21 to one right now. Absolute beautiful play from Sobek. Sobek used his ulti there in a way that you don't see most people use that ulti. People forget ultis can be the best defensive thing in your kit. Yeah, they don't have to be for aggressive yeah. plays. Yeah, like that, that's what happens with Thor all the time too. You're like, oh, I, I can dunk. I can dunk. I'm gonna go in and dunk and I'm kill myself. Dunk. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but Thor trying to get payback yeah, right trying now. Trying to get the payback. Surrender, Surrender vote. vote started. Ooh, is it over? Yeah. And it is over. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't a way to come back there. Yeah, let's, 21 let's to be 1. Honest, the, the game is paused, oddly enough. I'm surprised that they paused it. I just want to make sure. Okay, yeah, yep. the, the surrender That's vote fine. is going to go through. Pretty swift win from Team Eager. We'll look at the, the graphs for a few seconds. Yeah. See what actually happened. But, like, what? What do you do in that in that situation? And you you just got outplayed. Oh, yeah. just got outplayed there. It was just great plays, great team fights. They knew when to pick the right fight. Aware did have a bit of a risky, a bit a bit of a risky comp in my yeah. opinion, because you did have that ISIS Chunga, mm -hmm. which was unusual. It is unusual. Chunga in the solo lane against Bastet probably not the best idea, but she was holding herself pretty well over there, yeah, right? Yeah, they, they definitely held it off, but the the tankier comp. Is gonna win, and also yep. a very tried and tested comp. We saw a lot out of Bastet too. Wow. Yeah. Bastet 5-0. Sobek 4-0. Guan Yu 5-0. This is yeah. just crazy. Yeah. I mean, that was that was a good game. Yeah. But that's it for game one. We're gonna head to a quick commercial break. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> 